So I wanted to talk to you guys about a trap that I had made a few years ago. I think it was. Um, it's just a spring kick trap. It's basically going to allow you to whiff down for one uh, into a cancel and move into the right direction like this and avoid the spring kick. And this is really good versus people who kind of have the bad habit of spring kicking or just when you make the read off of someone doing a spring kick because there's been times where I run into people who don't really spring kick that often but sometimes you make a good read and you can punish them for for doing it. So basically this is what it's going to look like, hold on, so I have it on guard all, I have them set in approach so they can turn around, it's supposed to be like when you're fighting a real person they'll turn around as quickly as possible. It's a punish. So. When you're doing your combo, uh, you're going to do your QCF1 and then go into forward 3 back and quickly do a CJM down 3. You don't want to delay it because um, then that becomes a refloat. So when you do the the natural down 3, CJM down 3, it pushes them at a distance to where you have enough time to sidewalk out of the cancel and they're at like the perfect distance and the perfect um, angle between you and the opponent that you can get them with down for 3 3 one and it'll be guaranteed because if if they're off axis they could hold down and all that but in this scenario they're they're not going to be able to do anything because it's on their it's like directly on their back So you get all that damage for free. So your normal combos, CJM, down three. See that was a refloat. You want to make sure that you don't refloat. So do it right away and into it. And the good thing about it is even if it's not a punish you still have time to catch them from behind. In the situation that they do decide to do uh, wake up kicks, you have nothing to worry about here other than losing momentum because when you're doing a, a sidestep cancel, um, they're not going to be able to counter hit you. It'll just stop you, that's all. It won't counter hit you or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about getting caught and launched. If you are worried about them doing the wake up kicks and you want to catch them with it um, on wake up, you could just hold the. You could do forward three back, CGM down three to kick them away, and then just hold down and kind of inch forward just a little bit like this, just like that. And then whenever they attack, go for while standing two or the sweep. And if they do a spring kick, you're at a distance to where they would just land directly in front of you. So you could get a wall standing two for free. And doing what I'm about to show you to, to get a punish on a spring kick through this way right here, look. Um, this isn't really something that I would recommend because it's not optimal to just, you know, hold down and then while standing to punish the spring kick. Um, and on top of that, uh, the spring kickers usually go off of uh, action and react based off of that. So, you know, with baiting is the way to go. And plus you get the optimal back turn combo. 
but yes you do have this if you do decide to just hold it and you could launch them like that but if you have the read and you know they're going to do the screen kick like I said before you want to go for the optimal and do this but anyways I hope this helps somebody let me know what you think